Hey, are you thinking about starting a video podcast? Or maybe you already have an audio podcast, but you want to add a video element. Or maybe you already have a video element, but it sucks. Ecamm Live Mix is super simple to not only record your podcast, but to get it upload ready with as little editing as possible. So stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Let's go. All right, so before we jump in, it's important to figure out which of the three main ways you're going to be doing this, okay? The first way would be to just go live with your podcast and just leave it there. The second way would be to go live, but then edit the recording and re-upload it as like a more polished version. And the third way is to pre-record your podcast, edit it, and then upload it, okay? So it's important to figure out which of those three ways you're going to handle this because that will determine how much planning needs to be done in advance. And that leads us in to step number one planning say it with me proper planning if you want to do the least amount of editing you have to do the most pre-planning so what does planning look like for a podcast so what i like to do is i like to fire up apple notes or you could use google docs or even asana and write down your topic and if you're doing a solo podcast you may want to script it out or at least have some bullet points and if you're having a guest maybe you have some questions for your guest so go ahead and write that down first all right so then it helps to have what we call a run of show so what's a run of show it's essentially like a schedule or an agenda pretty much in order that you need to do things in all right so it may start with a countdown then the introduction then a hook maybe you introduce your guest then you get into the meat of the content maybe ask some questions do a q a have some calls to action and then an outro so that's like a sample run of show but it definitely helps to have that so you can stay organized so make sure you grab a brief bio so you can introduce them grab a headshot if you're creating flyers to promote the podcast and you may even want to schedule a brief meeting in advance to talk through the topic and to test their tech all right so now that we have the planning out of the way now it's time to get to the fun stuff okay Okay, so this is set up. So first you want to set up your tech. So that's your microphone, your camera, and your lighting. You don't have to have an elaborate setup, but just make sure you have some decent sounding audio for your podcast. Then upgrade your camera. You can get something entry level like a Canon M50. And we have videos on the M50, microphones, and lighting on the channel. So be sure to check those out if you want more insight. But just do a couple test recordings, hit record inside of Ecamm, and make sure your mouth is synced up to the words and use the mic delay feature to adjust it accordingly. All right. So now we can jump into the graphics. So if you have a podcast, you likely already have a podcast cover or some type of logo. So you just want to use that same design language to create your graphics and overlays for Ecamm. So you can do that in Photoshop. I know people use Canva. We have a video on how to create your own overlays in Canva on the channel. But I'm going to show you a podcast that I completely made up and created some graphics for. So I'm a graphic designer by trade. So here we are inside of a program that I use called Affinity Designer. And as you can see, I created some different overlays for this made up podcast called the Easy Peasy Podcast, right? So I need to create another one for the countdown. But I think I'm going to use this one, which is just a background and I'll fade it out a bit and I'll say something like the show is starting in and then leave some space for the countdown timer. All right, so this is done. So as you can see, I have some other overlays. So this is the main overlay. If it's just me speaking, this is myself and a guest. This is the countdown overlay I just created. This is the logo only. And here are some other versions as well. So now that we have the graphics, we can go ahead and set up the scenes inside of Ecamm Live. All right, here we are inside of Ecamm Live. Now we need to create our scenes, okay? So you'll see this scenes panel right here. And if you don't, go up to window then go down to scenes and it'll pop up. So this is what we'll use to create our scenes. But first, let's create a folder for all of the scenes for this podcast. So I'll hit new group. I'll call it easy, easy podcast. Now I'll hit this plus button to add a scene within it. Okay. So this new scene, I'll just name it solo. And then I'll drag this overlay onto it from the finder, y'all. And this one is done just like that, okay? So now I wanna create another one with a guest. So I'll hit plus, create a new scene. Now, I don't have the option to add a guest yet, so you just wanna make sure interview mode is toggled on. If you don't see this, go to window and then interview, okay? So if I toggle this on, you'll see another option appear here. Boom, guest one. So if I hit plus, it's gonna split it right down the middle and move me over to the side. 
boom so now i have an option for a guest so i'll drag this overlay right on top which i split down the middle in my design program so this is pretty much done so i'll call this me plus one boom that's done now i'll do a new empty scene but this time i won't add a guest in because if i do it'll split it in thirds right and i have this overlay that i created but as you can see it doesn't fit <laughs> quite properly so i'll just remove this for now i'll remove these two guests i'm going to go to source at the top and then i'm going to go to blank and i'm going to add in three camera overlays so under this overlays panel i'll hit this new camera overlay button so i'll change the camera to the camera that i want to use also change the shape of it to custom Adjust it accordingly. Now I'll go ahead and add in this overlay. And I'm gonna right click and duplicate this. Since I know it's approximately the right size, but I notice I have my name here, so I'm actually gonna change these two to guests. But first I'll add another camera overlay. shape to custom so now I'll change this to guest one change this to guest two and I'll move all three of these cameras below this layer this overlay layer so that looks good. So now I'll go ahead and save this as three person scene, or I could have did me plus two. So now let's create our countdown scene. So I'm gonna hit plus again, source blank. I'm gonna add in a camera overlay, the right hand side. Now I'll drag this countdown overlay on top of it, boom. So I actually need to adjust the width of, of the camera. Now get rid of this border and a radius. Now I'll drag this below again. Boom, that looks good. Now to add the actual countdown timer, I'll add this countdown overlay button here. So as you can see, it's counting down from 10 minutes. I actually want it to be white. So I'm gonna go to the color, select white, and I'm actually gonna change this font to Poppins. Any font you have installed on your computer will show up here. And let's just change this to about 30 seconds. You typically want to do a couple minutes, but for this video, I'll just do 30 seconds. Hit add. So now I can actually move this over and resize it. That looks perfect. So what I like to do is have it go to the next scene when finished, okay? So I'll hit save. But there is no next scene, so I need to drag this up to be first. So now as you see, as the countdown ends, it goes to this next scene. You can also have an intro video, so let me show you that. So I'm gonna create a new scene, and I'll title it Intro. Then for the source, I'll go to Video File, and then I'll choose my intro video. So it's just a two second clip. You can choose it from your finder, but I've already done it. So I'll just select this. Boom, and I'll remove myself. So this is just a two second intro that I can have play. The cool thing is I can tell Ecamm what I want to happen once it's done playing. So once this is done playing, I'll have it go to the next scene. So I actually drag this above my solo scene. So now if I select the countdown, the countdown will go from this to the intro. And then once the intro plays, it'll go to this next scene. So I know not everyone has intro videos for their podcast, but this is a nice feature to have. So you're not clicking around switching scenes. All right, now that we have our scene set up, we want to schedule our show. But first, we need a thumbnail. So I'm going to come back here really quickly. So we'll just use this as a thumbnail for now. So I'll go ahead and export this. All right, back in Ecamm Live up top, I'll make sure that stream is toggled on and I'll get these options down here. So I'll click new and I wanna schedule this in advance. So I'll do schedule start time. Let's do 2 p.m. I'm gonna add a destination. So I'll do my YouTube channel and I'll just type in easy peasy podcast episode 
one join us so here I'll go ahead and add the thumbnail as you can see my speed is good and it says an announcement post will be created on YouTube so I'll hit schedule so now it shows up under the schedule streams okay boom so I have one destination so if I click this I can go to the watch page or copy the watch page URL so this is helpful if you want to send this out in advance for people to tune into the stream so if I go to the watch page this is what it looks like so people can get notified and it says live in 10 hours but this is fake so I'm going to delete this <laughs> So if you were pre-recording your podcast and you had guests, you would just want to send them the interview mode link. So I go to window interview and I will click this link, copy it, and then paste this into an invite. All right. Now that the planning is done, the setup is done. We did the graphics. We created the scenes. Now you need to make sure that you're recording properly. Okay. So go up to the Ecamm live menu, go down to preferences. And for stream, of course, you will want to select your stream, but you do this when you schedule your stream, if you're streaming live. But if you're pre-recording, go ahead and select the side that you want to record in. Select your frame rate, but under recording, one, choose your recordings folder. So where do you want the recordings to be saved? Go ahead and choose that. And two, this is extremely important. You want to make sure that you're recording the isolated video and audio tracks, okay? So whatever cameras that you're using, select them. Also select your interview guests. And if you want your camera effects baked in, go ahead and check this off. And for your audio tracks, go ahead and select this, okay? So everybody's audio will be recorded separately and everybody's video will be recorded separately. But just keep in mind, this feature is only available for the Apple Silicon Mac. So if you're on M1 or M2, you're good to go. So just make sure all of these are selected, okay? So on the day of your podcast recording or your live stream, you wanna make sure that your audio looks good and your video looks good. So I just mentioned your camera effects. So go to window, go down to camera effects, and then you can tweak the settings as needed, okay? So if I reset this, this is how it looks straight out of the camera. It doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look like I want it to look, okay? So I typically just eyeball this. I'll adjust the tint, bring the saturation up, bring the gamma up. As you can see, it's starting to look a lot nicer already. And then I already have my LUT applied. So if I was to take this down, you can see, especially looking at my hat, that it adjusts the shading and the color. So make sure your camera effects look good. You can also tweak your guest camera effects as well. So I can either do that up here by going down to guest, or I can open up the new camera switcher, window, camera switcher, and I can hit the camera effects button right here, which will bring this panel back up. And then I can tweak their settings. But of course, I don't have a guest right now, so you can't see the settings being tweaked, <laughs> but you can do this in real time and make sure that their shot looks good. So if you do have guests on your podcast, just make sure that they show up about 15 minutes early so you can tweak their camera effects and you can also make sure that all their tech works like their microphone and their camera and everything. Make sure you look good, make sure you feel good, make sure you have your water or your coffee on deck so you can record an amazing episode. So once you end your show, this box will pop up here. So it's a show file sent to YouTube or edit indie script, okay? But edit indie script is cool because you can actually get the transcript of the episode and use it as like show notes or like a blog post. But if not, you can send it to YouTube, okay? But I'll just click show file and it'll show up as a folder, okay? So inside of the folder, I'll have any microphones that were recorded as well as any camera angles that were recorded. But being as though it was just me, I have my main 4K recording and then I have my camera recording here. So something to keep in mind is that any isolated videos that are recorded, they will max out at 1080p. So now that you have these individual files, you can go ahead and edit them yourself or send it to an editor. And the cool thing about the audio is that if you didn't have any edits, you can go ahead and upload this to your podcast syndication platform as is, or you can edit it independently of the video without having to go into the video file and detach the audio. And if you have different guests, you can give them their isolated video and audio tracks so they could repurpose their clips if they wanted to. And that's it, y'all. I mean, that's podcasting with Ecamm 101. It works seamlessly, y'all. Here are some clips from my actual podcast so you can see this in action. And I followed the exact same steps that I gave you guys today. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And hopefully you can smash that like button on your way out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.